Deep in the heart of an ancient, forgotten jungle, where sunlight barely managed to penetrate the dense canopy, an enigmatic creature lurked. Its name whispered in hushed tones among scientists and adventurers alike, sent shivers down their spines. Deinonychus, a relic from the distant past, this predator possessed a sinister intelligence that belied its reptilian nature. It possessed several distinctive physical characteristics that set it apart from other dinosaurs of its time. It had a long, sleek body that measured approximately 11 feet, 3.4 meters, in length. Its body was built for agility and speed, enabling it to swiftly maneuver through its environment. The slender body structure suggests that Deinonychus was an active predator, capable of quick bursts of movement while hunting its prey. They had well-developed muscular limbs that contributed to their exceptional agility. Its hind limbs were particularly strong and designed for rapid acceleration. The thigh bones were elongated, enabling powerful strides. These adaptations allowed to chase down its prey with great efficiency. One of the most iconic features was the enlarged, sickle-shaped claw located on each of its hind feet. These claws, known as the killing claws or raptor claws, were curved and exceptionally sharp. They measured around six inches in length and were likely held off the ground, as they did not touch the ground while the dinosaur walked. The function of these claws has been the subject of much speculation among paleontologists. It is widely believed that the sickle-shaped claws of Deinonychus were primarily used as formidable weapons during hunting and capturing prey. The enlarged claws played a crucial role in its hunting strategy. It is believed that they used their powerful legs to deliver swift kicks, while simultaneously using their sickle-shaped claws to strike at its prey. These claws were capable of inflicting deep wounds, puncturing vital organs, and causing significant damage. Furthermore, the sickle-shaped claws were likely used to latch onto and hold onto its prey. By gripping onto its victim, they would have maintained control and prevented escape. The combination of slashing attacks and gripping would have allowed them to overpower their prey efficiently. Moreover, some researchers suggest that the sickle-shaped claws of Deinonychus may have been used for climbing trees or gripping onto surfaces, aiding in balance and stability while navigating complex environments. Overall, the long, slender body structure, muscular limbs, and distinctive sickle-shaped claws collectively contributed to its remarkable hunting abilities. These adaptations made it a formidable predator capable of swift movements, agile maneuvers, and lethal strikes. They were highly skilled predators and are believed to have played the role of an apex predator in their ecosystem. They employed a combination of speed, agility, and their unique anatomical features to effectively capture their prey. It is thought to have been an active predator, relying on its physical prowess rather than stealth to secure a meal. Some of its hunting techniques may have included ambush attacks. They likely utilized their speed and surprise to launch ambush attacks on unsuspecting prey. By utilizing its agility and bursts of speed, it would have closed the distance quickly, overwhelming its target. Coordinated Strikes If Dynamiches hunted in groups, it could have employed coordinated attacks, working together to bring down larger prey. This cooperative hunting behavior would have increased their chances of success. Harassing Tactics They may have used their sickle-shaped claws to inflict painful and debilitating wounds on their prey, causing them to weaken and become easier targets. The exact hunting strategy of Deinonychus is a subject of ongoing debate among paleontologists. Two main theories have emerged. Some researchers propose that they hunted in packs, similar to modern-day wolves or lions. In a pack, individuals would have coordinated their efforts, allowing them to take down larger prey or overwhelm the defenses of potential victims. The close-by discovery of Deinonychus fossils, which suggests social or group behavior, lends support to this theory. Others argue that Deinonychus was more likely a solitary hunter, relying on its speed and agility to track and ambush prey on its own. The fact that modern-day large predators, like leopards, frequently hunt alone lends support to this theory. It is also possible that they employed a combination of both pack hunting and solitary stalking, depending on factors such as available prey, environmental conditions, or the stage of the dinosaur's life cycle. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of Deinonychus, the ancient giant of the seas. We hope you enjoy this video.